<laughs> hey there, Carlos. What's the haps and the baps and the craps, my dude? I'm just, we're just here at the Big Boy Palace having a fun time. So, what you been doing this weekend? Anything spectacular? No, I get what's going on here, Carlos. You ain't talking to me because I'm taller, dude. I understand this certain tall racism aspect, but this is not how it was when we first met Carlos. Uh, I'm getting kind of sick of your sass right now from not talking to me, Carlos. <sighs> I expected more from you. <laughs> Spit it out, Carlos. What is what is wrong with you? The cat got your tongue this time, Carlos, like it did freaking wood. I needed that money from the ATM and you wouldn't spot me, fam. Is that, is that what? Does that cat really have your tongue that hard that you can't even speak to, have the decency to speak to me? You botster. You sickened me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mwah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Okay, doctor, I understand. Yes, doctor, I realize my lungs blacken from smoking all this tar. Yes, doctor, I get it. Shut up, doctor. The smoke in here makes me feel good. Okay, fine. You inconsiderate sack of... Oh, 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 um... Welcome back, folks. Cowboy Dan here. Coming back at you with another banger of a video. Just got off the phone with my doctor. Tell me I should stop so because of my lungs. What an inconsiderate garbage boy. Now, uh, today, my compadres, we gonna learn about the terrifying creature known as the Simothio Simothoa exiguia, otherwise known as the tongue-eating louse. Simothia exiguia is too hard to say, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it doesn't even matter. This terrifying creature of the waters is locally found in the Gulf of California, and can even be found in the Gulf of Guayaquil, Ecuador. That's way too many places it's at in my humble cowboy opinion. This thing is disgusting. Now, if these little demons here were by themselves, they'd be okay in my book. But these varmints enter fish through their gills, and then attach themselves to the fish's tongue. They then sever the fish's blood vessels to their tongue, which makes the tongue fall off, and after the tongue falls off, the demonly creature decides to ingratiate itself in the, t is the nude fish tongue. Oof, disgusting creature. The strange thing is though, once this little louse has entered, has replaced the fish's tongue and entered the mouth, you know what I'm saying, the fish is okay with it and uses the parasite as its own tongue like nothing ever happened. Fish really are not the smartest creatures in the book. They both seem to be okay with this relationship. Fish still has a tongue and the louse eats the blood of the mucus of the fish. Hmm. Sounds delicious. Delectable. Now for some numbers. I know we all hate numbers, but... I'm a cowboy, gotta give these numbers out. Now, this daemon is hermaphroditic, meaning it can change from male to female and vice versa. Very, very strange. You need to get out of my country with that. Females can grow to be 29 millimeters long, and the males can grow to be 15 millimeters long. <laughs> oh, ugh, disgusting. Just, I don't know why, why these things exist. I don't understand. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that thing that I've discussed. I mean, it was a bit of a shorter video, but still, not much known about this creature, if I'm being honest. Not much research. Eh, I hope you enjoyed it, because I surely did. I need to wash myself off somewhere. Maybe in a lake, a pond, somewhere. Even the ocean. But that's where these things are, so I don't think I'm going to be going to the ocean for a long time. Anyways, compadres, I'll be saddling up and see you all next time. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. Anyways, boys, saddling off again. Cowboy Dan is out.